Welcome to this video, which is the second video on sensors in the BBC Microbit. And in this video, we're going to be making a simple thermometer. So, to get us started, I want to introduce you to a feature um, which allows us to plot a bar graph on our LED screen. So we're going to grab plot bar graph and we're going to put it inside a forever block. And this works by plotting a value up to a maximum value. If you leave this blank, it just automatically assumes the maximum value. Uh, but I think we can have um, a bit more control than that. So I want us to plot a graph of the current temperature. So we're going to get input, temperature, and drop it in there. And we're going to go up to a maximum of, say, 30 degrees, which probably is about right for this time of year. And you can see you get a little... Um, control added to the microbit simulator and you can adjust the temperature and obviously on a real microbit it would actually pick up the real temperature but this is just simulating it and as we change the temperature the bar graph updates okay so if you were to go now and download that code and put it on your microbit you would find that straight away you've got a little uh, thermometer that you can go and use you might need to put it in some uh, extreme places like next to a radiator and then maybe if you've got uh, a cold day you could put it on a metal surface outside and just to see how the bar graph changes. Once you've done that, come back and we're going to look at how we can add a bit more functionality into our thermometer. Welcome back. Hopefully you are feeling very pleased with yourself because you've developed a working thermometer out of your microbit. Uh, but now we're going to make it even more useful because we're going to make it so that you can press a button and find the actual temperature that it is right now. So let's have a go at that. We're going to need an input and let's make it that when button A is pressed, it gives us the actual temperature. So on button A pressed, we're going to show a number, and that number will be the current temperature. And if we were to try this on our simulator now, ah, something's gone a bit wrong with our LED display. It's sort of flickering around. And the reason for that is the, the software is trying to show our number, but it's also forever updating the bar graph. So the two are competing and it's not really working. So we could try a few different things. We could try and put a pause in of one second. Let's see if this helps at all. Let's restart. Okay, press A. No, that hasn't done it. What we need to do is find a way of locking the display and sort of saying, hey, I'm busy using the display at the moment, so you just have to wait. And every time the, the bar graph tries to show itself, it could think, is the display free? If it is, cool, okay, I'll display. If not, I'll back off because someone else is obviously using the display. And we can use a variable to do that. So we're going to create a new variable, and I'm going to call it display, oops, display busy. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to set display busy to true when the A button is pressed. OK. And I'm also now going to set it to false once it's had some time displaying the temperature. And we've waited a second for that to display on the screen. And then it resets back to false. Now that's not affecting this loop. We need to use an if block to test the value of display busy as we, or before we update the bar graph. So to do that, we're going to use the logic. We're going to do if. And we're going to put our plot bar graph inside the if. And the test we want to do is if display busy equals false, i.e. if the display is not busy. 
So let's go to logic and grab our equals. Let's go to variables and grab display busy. And let's go back to logic and grab false. If display busy is false, update the display. However, when we press the A button, we're going to set display busy to true, which means this will have to stop for a bit because it won't be able to run. We can show our temperature, and then when we're done, we can release the display again. And just to make sure we don't have any mistakes right at the beginning, I'm going to say on start, set, let's move it over, display busy to false. So right at the beginning, the display is not busy, it's ready to use. Let's restart and see what happens. So we've got our thermometer, got our bar graph, and if I want to press, or I want to see the actual temperature, I should be able to press A. And now it's working, 18 degrees, and it goes back to the bar graph after that. Let's put our temperature up. Still working, and then it goes back to the bar graph. So there you go. We've managed to use a variable to solve our problem, which was that we had both the, the bar graph and show number competing for the LED display at the same time. I'd like you to go away and do the same on yours so that you've now got a more useful uh, thermometer. And once you've done that, your extension task, or actually maybe that's more of an expert task, is to add the facility to keep track of the maximum temperature the thermometer has come across and to reveal it whenever B is pressed. So if you just press A, you get the current temperature, but if you press B, you get the maximum temperature that you've detected whilst your microbit's been switched on. Let's see how you get on. Okay, so here's my little temperature sensing program running on my microbit. And you've got a little bar graph here, which is giving an indication of the current temperature. And if I press the A button, it shows me the current temperature is apparently 19 degrees in the classroom. And if I press my B button, it'll tell me the current high temperature. So this is the highest temperature it's encountered. And that is also 19 degrees. So let's take our thermometer on a little bit of a walk around and see if we can change it. So first of all, I'm going to go over to here where there's a radiator nearby. I'm not going to put it on the radiator, I'll just put it near the radiator and see if it warms up. Okay, so I'm by the radiator. Let's try the uh, temperature now. Now it's reporting 21 degrees. So our new maximum temperature is also showing 21 degrees. Let's take it out to somewhere slightly colder. It's a bit of a cold day outside, so let's go out there and see if it will cool down. Okay, so I've got the micro bit on the floor outside now, so it should be a bit cooler. Let's see what the temperature says now. And it's showing still 20 degrees. I think it needs a little bit of time just to cool down fully. Now it's showing 19 degrees. But let's see if that original maximum temperature is still held in memory. Press B. And there we go, 22, which must have been the highest temperature it encountered probably just after we took it away from the radiator. Current temperature, now 17. Maximum temperature recorded, still 22.